For more than a year, much of Rakhine State has been at war. The Myanmar military has been using air power and artillery against a relatively new and powerful insurgent group. Entire communities have been uprooted. Hundreds of civilians have been killed or wounded. With most Muslim Rohingyas now expelled or contained in camps, it's the Rakhine Buddhist population that's at the heart of this struggle. Inflamed by their historical grievances against what they see as an occupation and by the actions of government forces. The group which is claiming to fight in their name is the Arakan Army. It was founded 11 years ago by Rakhine migrants far away along the border with China. Funded by smuggling and backed by other insurgent groups, they're now capable of challenging and at times defeating the Myanmar armed forces back in their home state of Rakhine. It's a much younger organisation than pretty much any of the other insurgent forces in Burma. It's an educated leadership, it's a tech-savvy leadership. They use social media in a way that we simply haven't seen in Burma before. And they've tapped into a very young following in Rakhine State. This rough video, taken only last month by Arakan Army volunteers, shows what appears to be the aftermath of an ambush of military vehicles close to the main road. They're well armed and, despite some evident jumpiness, confident. These incidents are now frequent in Rakhine. That ambush took place just a few hundred metres from this village, Letka, which satellite and army drone photos show was largely burnt only the week before. Its residents had already fled from a military operation last year. Each side blames the other, but human rights groups say this kind of destruction is a well-known military tactic against rebellious villages. The army's unpopularity here wasn't helped when this video emerged in April, showing soldiers kicking and beating suspected Arakan army supporters on a boat that was taking them for questioning. The battle for hearts and minds in Rakhine is being lost by the government. The Myanmar military is incapable of any sophisticated counterinsurgency campaign. They simply don't have the training and they don't have the, the mentality. So you see the same sort of pretty brutal responses that we saw writ large with the Rohingya expulsion in 2017. Three years ago, many Rakhine communities supported the military's scorched earth campaign against their Rohingya neighbours. But in this complex and tragic corner of Southeast Asia, they now find themselves drawn into conflict with a Burmese state which is still struggling to impose its authority on Myanmar's vast and remote border regions. Jonathan Head, BBC News. Bangkok.